Debbie, Carrie, Jen, and Jen's love partner Melissa Blake use James' time machine to travel back to the Stone Age. We have arrived at the Stone Age. 100,000 years in the past and in Northern Italy. The same location the USS Sandy went to five years ago. Now let's go to Grolic and Pelabong's cave. And about an hour later, they actually find the cave dwellers while they are out hunting and gathering. Jen, you have returned yet again. Yes, Papa. As much as I enjoy living in the future, I still miss you and Mama sometimes. So we return to see how you are doing. So where are Mac and Anna? They now live in their own cave just to the north of here. And... They are expecting our first grandchild. Awesome. When did you last see them? About seven months ago. Anna may have already given birth by now. Jen, are you going to stay with us this time, just as Mac did? Flo, I would only do that if I thought my life here was better than where I have been living. Mac and I may be brother and sister, but we are also separate people and we must make our own choices. I agree. Grolic and I belong here and have no wish to be anywhere else. Several hours later, the visitors from the 21st century find the cave Mac and Anna now live in. Mac, my brother. How have you been? And I see you brought Melissa too. Yes. We wanted to take a vacation together where we wouldn't have to deal with her nosy and bigoted parents. Well, you and she are certainly welcome here. You look like you're about to pop. When is the baby due? We have about a month or so to go. And yes, this baby will be big. My mother told me that I was myself a big baby when I was born. And I was delivered via caserine. Maybe you should have thought about that before you went back to this time. What if you can't give birth normally? You could die. Melissa, don't talk like that. That is so rude. Mac, come walk with me. Sorry about Melissa. She's not exactly the most tactful person. But she does have a point. I remember you repeatedly telling us you wanted to be an auto mechanic. Then suddenly you give that up and say you want to live in our original time? Just because of Anna. Are you sure you made the right decision? Because if you're not sure, I can offer you and Anna a way out. It's true that I went back in time for Anna's sake. Sure, I've had doubts about that choice, but every time I look at Anna, I see how happy she is here. And she was never happy in the 21st century. Mainly because she was treated like a... retard by her peers and even by her father. By contrast, Papa and Mama always treated her with the utmost respect, even when she was not yet used to life here. Mama and Anna became best friends, and Anna also bonded with Flo. It's like Anna was born in the wrong time, and only here has she found her rightful family in life. And I am the polar opposite of Anna. I was born in this time, but I know I belong in the 21st century. But, I miss you sometimes. I remember when we had so much fun together. Going back to the year 1990. Going to the planet Mars. Attending school together and even watching you play football. Those were good times. Yes. We were kids then. But now I have adult responsibilities. That's why I can't be with you again, Jen. But I will remember you. My own mother Jessica had to deliver me via caserine. Maybe. You could be taken to the 21st century to have your baby and then return to here? Yeah, and then I might be tempted to stay in that time. Only to be reminded of why I wanted to leave. The conflict is unthinkable. No, my mind is made up. I belong here, so I will stay. You want to do something with me to try to induce labor a little early? What do you have in mind? Mac? The thing that got you pregnant to begin with. Strip for me, baby. <laughs> Our firstborn son. 
What shall we call him, Mac? Let us name him James, after the one who was once known as my father in the future. So what do we do now? We can just return to the present and then the four of us hang out in Dallas. But Melissa, sooner or later you need to come clean to your parents about your sexuality. If you don't, your relationship with Jen may not last much longer. She deserves more respect than that. My parents are my problem. Let me deal with them my way. I don't like the sound of that. It seems dishonest. <laughs>